Hi, if you want to come on in for a little divination dose for today and see what the aura of any day is whenever you find this. We'll add some scrolls, tarot and oracle, and possibly some runes. I always say that, or I feel like I say that, but if it stands out, we will. So thank you so much for joining me. To all those who like, share, and subscribe, and donate through Buy Me A Coffee and PayPal. Truly gratitude all over the place. Warms my heart. If you'd like to take a moment to close the eyes, take a deep breath, release the race and the rush, activate in the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support. All right. I'm going to set up our scrolls here. Sorry, I'm having like a weird deja vu. Hmm. Yeah, like I'm straight up having deja vu. Yeah, that's happening. Hmm. I'm going to have to sit with that for a minute. Okay. I'm going to dig in here. You know when uh, like you would open the fridge? I feel like I'm opening a fridge. And like, there's this timer, like somebody's watching me, like, don't look in the fridge too long. Don't waste electricity or something like that. It's some sort of earth sign. <laughs> and it's of love and appreciation or maybe an over, uh, no, not over. Let me take a moment there. Maybe taking for granted, uh, electricity or resources around. Does that make sense? For some reason, it's drawing me to like, you know, standing there with the fridge open. You're like, hmm, what do I feel like? What do I feel like? And you just kind of look around. <laughs> and then, you know, like a parent or somebody would come in and be like, be raised, born in a barn, close the door. Don't stand there and waste, you know, cool the whole house. Something about resources. Anyway, that's what it's making me feel like. And there's two earth sign scrolls here. Uh, Capricorn and Taurus. We have Venus and Saturn. Uh, it's almost like there's this uh, uh, wisdom at, at work in different places. Like, so if, you know, somebody would say that to you, like, don't stand there and look at the fridge. There's another context where um, this other person or energy or part of yourself, you gently remind as well. But I feel like they're in two different areas, but I'm seeing it like a fridge and filling up the fridge, filling up the fridge. Hmm. What is this? Sorry. Give me two shakes here. I'm going to dig in here. Um, <laughs> it's so funny. I'm seeing like in the scroll here, right about here, it's like washing a car or your home, some something that is a shared, the space between male and female, of course, or between partnerships. I'm looking at energy, not earthly expressions. And it's like, what is it, like a spit shine and trying to shine something up. Hunter of gifts. It's something that's shared and gives back. So it's kind of like a resource. Like you go to work to pay for electricity so you can have things in the fridge to keep them fresh. That inevitably that was a whole lot to, so the electricity can run and give back to you. Do, do you know what I'm saying? And I know that's a, a weird way of saying it, but I feel... I feel like resources are trying to say thank you for being mindful, for maybe establishing some sort of gratitude for them around you, whether it's food in the fridge, electricity, the ability to have a uh, an ice box, to have a car, or to be able to take the bus, that a bus even exists. Do you know what I'm saying? Like there's something about gratitude for all that is. There's some sort of new beginning. Hunter of gifts came through. Like life is a gift. Life is a gift. And even if it's like I'm seeing like finding 
like saying, oh, I need a, we need a new kitchen table or we need a new couch or something like that. And maybe you find one used, brand new, cost you a million dollars, two dollars, or it was given to you. That's besides the point. The point is, is like cleaning it up to make it your own. And again, feel really grateful. Like it might be just an in-between, in-between table. This could be a forever table. Maybe it's something, it's almost like because you'll be able to make it your own and clean it up clean it up spirit of destruction hunter of paths and ancestors of illusions so it's almost like what other people have de have decided to destroy and remove from their space could actually be helpful to you it's like one big yard sale all of a sudden i'm seeing it as And that's in regards to something tangible. If you're looking for something tangible, I feel as though today's divination dose is saying, say it, mean it, feel it. Like I, you know, really want, not really want, but I don't know the language of it specifically because it's, it has to be come from like your desire, your true heart, like your feeling. Okay, so and moving through spirit of destruction and ancestor of illusion as well, different rabbit hole here. Uh, th somebody's like, I don't know why the fridge analogy is coming through, but I totally dig it. So I'll follow it. It's like you're cleaning out your fridge and there's way too many condiments or they're outdated or there's like things in the back. You're like, oh my goodness, I didn't even know that was still back there. <laughs> um, or I'm. I'm going to eat this one day and you're just, you're finally like just, just not destroying in a bad way, but dissolving the, the illusions of things. Maybe you're holding in this frequency fridge for one reason or another, or you're keeping cool for, for one day, hunter of paths. And you're just like clearing new, like maybe reorganizing the fridge as a symbolic way of saying like, you know, clean it up, reorganize, find a new way to navigate the fridge. Maybe the fridges of feelings, the fridge of feelings. I do want to note that ironically closing the door came through as we've been talking. Yeah, I'm going to say we, because if you're still here, you get it. You, you get what I'm saying in some way, shape or form, something makes sense. The fridge, to, you know, closing the door. Oh, that looks really nice together. Closing the door. Closing the door in something that maybe you had a dream as well and you're like, it's just not coming to fruition. So you put it in the fridge or you put it on the back burner. Just know it's there. But I feel like not. it's not being added to a dusty shelf. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm going to get ready to close out here. Thank you so much. Uh, new contracts are coming in. So that's also when I was talking about like getting that new table, this, that, or the other. That's kind of how it's making me feel. Clearing up the old, shredding old documents, this, that, or the other. And, you know, closing that door, completion. And knowing that you will find your peace, Whatever it may be, for some reason it does feel tangible, but it could also just be in cultivating the intention of what you want. To to have luck and right timing on your side. So as you're just kind of moving around life and doing what you do, it's it's in the background. You know, it's it's there. It's there and it it'll come through. Repairing the mind body brings me into spirit of destruction hunter of paths if anyone has decided to pivot is the message that's coming through pivot uh, maybe you were headed down this line You're like this is what we're working towards this is what we're doing at least with two earth signs here very disciplined you've been focused and suddenly there's been a closing the door on it. you're like you know what this it's actually not what we want anymore or it's not what I want anymore thank you thank you it it's almost as if just by closing the door if there was an idea that maybe you've been working towards for a few years days weeks whatever time being what it is and you're deciding to close the door on it, it's because it actually served to bring you to this point versus um out into the pasture of it all right that idea that you had or that you might have been working towards if anyone's like feeling sad like or like a failure I'm suddenly 
like shaking my head going, but it brought you to the very point it needed to. The possibilities are endless, but the value of it, it's actually out, outlived here and now. So close the door um, and something will be reborn. A new path, a new gift will come out of it if you're willing to close the door on that. Freedom horse is on the bottom. Shape-shifting, absolutely. Grandfather Sky. Talking stick. Yeah, we're talking it out right now. Not a failure. It can't be a failure if you're heeding the, the wisdom in it and saying, oh, yeah, I really wanted to, you know, work for this company and become this, 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 and this, and this. And then maybe you're hitting a spot and you're like, I thought I, thought I was going to be here for a lot longer, but, man, I'm going to have to pivot. Uh, maybe you're going to change jobs or maybe you're going to consider moving. Whatever the case may be, whatever change you're deciding to make or being faced with. It's like, oh, maybe you thought your relationship was going to go the distance, but it's not working out. It doesn't mean it's a failure. It brought you to where it needs to be. The job, the position, the this, that, or the other. It's okay. It's a success if you're seeing that. And then I can say thank you. Because my resources aren't being overused uh, beyond beyond the point of value. Nature spirits and tribal dancer are here. There's that lot of earth energy, earth spirits, uh, just the earth energy. The hunter of gifts and the illusions all feels very like past. I don't know. People are going places, closing the door in one space. And it's like, yeah, I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. I see that now. I see the illusions, not because they were bad. They're just, I'm shifting. I'm pivoting. I'm pivoting. Might need a little repair time. Wash it off. Uh, pivot. Pivot accordingly in my perception. And then go through this change. We have Fate Spider and Act Now Gecko. Will they come through if I try and bring them up close? Probably not. Always a good effort, but there we go. It's it's fated. You're creating the fate. And maybe that's the gift to, to remind yourself of, of the, the resources that we were talking about, the elementals around you, the elemental energies around you, holding the fridge open. It's fate. You're creating it. You're creating it. You're you're the weaver. You're the weaver of it. It's almost like I'm suddenly seeing somebody when I said weaver knitting a scarf, but always knitting the same scarf, like never moving on to a different scarf. Just the same scarf that's going on and on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> that's okay. All right. So just to confirm as we're closing out here, there's a new contract. So change is there. Rest and renewal is behind it in a tidy house organization tidy up close the fridge clean the fridge all those frequencies new contracts are coming in opportunities may be coming in but a lot of it and i don't mean but in a bad way uh take some time to repair rest rejuvenate because the next chapter is here should you choose to accept at least that's how i'm feeling all right, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for joining me for this divination dose. And until next time, bye.